Hello, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Pearls of Wisdom today with, with Suchada and with Navasit. And they have a very interesting question for me today. Okay. Uh, my question is, who is the Mother Earth? Who is Mother Earth? Yeah, that's a very good question. Because most people don't realize that the Earth is a being itself. It's not just like uh, something thrown in the universe. You know, everything that exists has some, uh, some life in it. And life, I love to uh, say life is for me a synonym to God or the divine. Because everything what is life has this divine energy inside. And you can see like a lot of things are growing from the earth like all the trees, the flowers, the grass, everything what is growing. It's like we grow our hair, we grow our fingernail, whatever. Things are growing. Mother Earth is a being. And maybe I can tell you a little story that's one of many that circulate just like, you know, at one time in the universe, there were these lacquered souls, these kind of souls that lost the way, the way for to 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 the good, they fall into the negativity, into the darkness. And then they said, um, we have to make an experiment to try to bring these lost souls back. So this being, and we call her Gaia in one way or Pachamama um, said, okay, I'm willing to participate. And you know, in the cosmos time does not exist. So this, in a way, in a blink of the eye, what is in Earth years, maybe a million of years, that body was created. And this being, let's call her Gaia here now, Gaia um, uh, was the spirit. Like I have my physical body, but this is not who I am. I have also the, my spiritual self. So Gaia is the spiritual self of earth. And um, she was ready for an experiment that they brought in from many different other planets, different elements. For example, from one planet system, they bring in the water from another planet system. They bring in some animals or, you know, so all come together and they create an atmosphere on the earth that this kind of life can thrive. And then uh, some many other beings who have been initially on this council, they said they volunteered to come as like the stewards to take mm -hmm. care of the body of Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. it, you know, the sample might sound a bit silly, but when you see the buffalo, they have these white birds that pick the fleas, you know, or mm. you have also some fish that you can see like whales, they have also little fish that pick them. So in a way, that's part of our job on the earth to take care to be steward of the okay. earth to, to help to balance. And this is all how it happened. And slowly, slowly, everything was developed until at one point, um, these negative fallen souls came here and this is more or less when the struggle started so this is one story but we have to be very very much aware that our earth is a living being she has feelings that she shows in the weather pattern oh okay <laughs> so and everything is out of balance in the moment Mm. So 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 the 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 weather is her feeling, right? Yeah, the weather has to do with her feelings, with her emotions, like big storm, like you know when we have emotion, emotion um, relates to water, mm -hmm. fire, mm -hmm. and and we can see also that this is happening, and even if people try to manipulate it and they do manipulate it, at the end we have to see that Mother Nature will be stronger. Mm. And this is what actually what was supposed to happen at uh, 2012 at the end of the age is that when the earth is being destroyed, 
and everything is destroyed, sort of the scratch again. And we talked about that, that this is the first time that we survive the end of an age because the consciousness level has risen. And one of the things also is because human beings are much more conscious of earth and of the being itself. Uh, so, so it means that uh, are we connected to her energy by the, the, the weather? Part of it, yes. We are connected to everything. See, in a way, when we look at that, the earth for us is the macrocosmos, we are the microcosmos. So everything what is happening in the earth is somehow also reflected within us because we are made of the elements of the earth. Mm -hmm. When we say earth, um, I, I was imagining like the soil, you know, or the, the dirt in the nature, but you also mentioned that it's the air yes. and fire and wind. So yes. Mother Earth is Mother Nature. Is it the same? Yes. Mm. Nature, nature is part of Mother Earth, of, of the physical body of Mother Earth. You know, like we have a physical body, we also have an emotional body, what we could say that is connected to our soul. We have a spiritual body, we have auras, and the Earth has the same. But it's just a complete different dimension. You know, when I when I show you a football, it is very clear that the football is round. But if you look at something like if you would stand on a football, like we are standing on the earth, then you cannot see the form of it because we are too small to see it. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's always when we are, you know, it's like a problem and you're in the middle of a problem, uh, you're overwhelmed. But when you're above it or a little bit ahead, uh, then you can look at it, you see it. Mm. And this is unfortunately what, what, what a lot of human beings have completely forgotten that we are part of the earth and we depend on her. And if we poison our bodies, we also poison the earth. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So if we make certain chemical um, mixtures together that become poison, it is also poison for the earth. But on the other hand, we can see that the earth is also uh, using the waste products to grow new food. That's why we use uh, cow shit. We use uh, a different uh, things to fertilize our plant. This is all a cycle. Mm -hmm. Mm. And this is the same how our physical body functions. Mm. Mm. So once when you, for example, in the big cities where you um, plaster all this concrete and everything over the skin in a way of Mother Earth, she cannot function well anymore. I see. Uh -huh. This is why it, to live in cities, it's, it's relatively unhealthy. So you will also see in the future when the whole shift is complete, that this will also be very different, that we still have cities, but they are completely different constructed. So the houses are not just squares. You know, for example, a square is not the very uh, beneficial energy. This is an energy of tension. Now, when you live in square buildings all the time and you work in square buildings and you drive around in cars with tires that you are not connected with the earth, you know, then you're completely taken away from the natural feeling of earth. Mm. So in the future, uh, there will be complete different houses, like they may be like spirals going up. And uh -huh. then, then you see like gardens around, you know, yeah. I have seen beautiful, fantastic pictures and there is, is more green. And it places like they have um, like, you know, the, what is it called? Lord of the Ring, the, the hobbits, the kind of underground houses, stuff like that. It, it will be much, much more like this. Uh -huh. And people will reconnect again with the earth. Uh -huh. so, so they try to do like a, the condo, like a waterfall with the trees. 
You yeah, know? yeah, exactly. I mean, you see today sometimes in shopping malls, they start to do things like that. But when you look at the cities as such, they are horrible, simply horrible. And the energy is horrible, the air is horrible, the noise is horrible. So it's really not a good place to live in the middle of all that. Because all the from the cars and in the future, we also won't have cars anymore with a, a motor that burns that is also uh, completely aligned with the negative energy. So we talked many times about this, the, the, the split of the timelines mm -hmm. and this is happening, this is all happening right now. Mm -hmm. and, and once we move into that positive uh, frame or timeline, then you will see that within a very, very short time, we'll have many different um, energies. Also, we will have free energy. We will have a complete different way of life. But since everything is here a bit slow, <laughs> it cannot happen overnight. Uh. And this is that transition that needs the people to help, to assist the birth of the new golden age and again you know we talked about that too this is not the age of aquarius this is we are moving into the photon belt the light belt for 1000 years and within this photon belt we also at one point come into the age of aquarius but when you look at the real star constellation we are not there yet but what happened like really around 80, 1986, that, that shift has started to happen when the positive energy um, took place that all the negative destructing prophecies uh, did not work anymore. Mm -hmm. This was the key moment, 1986, when everything shifted into a positive timeline. Mm -hmm. So, so since you said that uh, in the city, so how we, I mean, how can we ground ourselves with the with, with the mother earth energy because yes. we live in the city? First of all, the, when you understand that your flesh and blood and whatever you have physically within you is part of mother earth, is elements of mother earth, then you know that you can like. Uh, you recharge the battery, you can recharge the energy in the earth. So first of all, you have to spend some time in nature every day. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the easier thing is like, especially for people who might live in a city or don't have much nature around them, find a little piece of ground and stand or stand barefoot sit on the ground for example take off your shoes like in a park and put your feet barefoot in uh, on the ground and uh, and then you can consciously imagine you know also hugging a tree like for example i did i did that an often i because i went to walk with my dog in the forest always so I kind of lean on a tree and hug the tree. And then I, I make kind of a little meditation that I kind of imagine that I entered the tree, that my body become the stem and my, my arms become the branches and my feet uh, started to make root. And I imagine how I um, um, receive uh, the nourishment from the earth and uh, sometimes I, I um, imagine that I have birds sitting on my branches and, see, and hear the sound. Of course, you hear it when you're in the forest. Now the birds just start to sing. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, the more vivid you can imagine that the more it happened, because everything actually in our life happens because of our visualization and imagination. That's how we function. So if you um, do exercise like this, or even if you don't have a chance to go in nature, just sit in your living room and imagine this is happening. And it will happen. Or you can, you can get a foot bath or you sit in a bathtub and connect through the water. Mm -hmm. And then you can fill your body again with positive energies. Uh -huh. 
And you will see that you also will have more energy, you will be more healthy. And of course, the, the, the whole story with the food, you know, the more you put stuff in your food, like MSG um, and all, all this, you know, when you, when you go and look, I mean, you don't want to eat anymore at all. <laughs> when you read some time, what is in all that food? So um, I'm very happy to, to have uh, really in the moment I've, live practically from the land mm -hmm. and what i buy some is some nuts or or some like for example in a moment i have uh, the the mulberry yeah 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 uh -huh. so i drink every day i drink mulberry and i freeze it because i have a lot so i have at least a half a year every day a glass of mulberry juice so this is something that keeps you alive. So try to find things like that. Here in Thailand, it's easy. Mm. It's much more easy than in many other countries. If you just go out a little bit, you will find a lot of natural products because a lot of farmers who just have like little things, not, not the big rice fields, but the little farmers, they don't want to spend money on all kind of poison stuff, but they know. Mm -hmm. So here I can see it also in the village. They don't use much chemical stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Much less than, than the, the, those who um, grow uh, commercially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So once we remember that our body is part of nature, we start to take care of our body mm -hmm. and of nature in a different way. Uh -huh. And now in this time, what is happening now, see also with that whole ascension process we're talking about is Mother Earth has also claimed that now it's enough. She does not want to go through this anymore, that people have been the whole violence in, in the atmosphere, the energy, that she is not willing to do that anymore. And now she wants to ascend. And that is her decree as her as a as a being as a mother being and remember the uh, the planet earth is a female energy is a mother energy and this is why when you look back in more harmonious times or tribes there is always the women had a more um a different role very clearly different role than a man because also you can see that it's very different. The, the female body and the male body is very different. So the, the male body is more or less the steward of the earth. That's what I said that to take care of her. So this is that very important role. And the female, the female body is like to give birth. It's more like in that female energy, like what everything, what is growing and, and taking, um, part is nourishing the the male energy is protecting the female energy is nourishing so when you live your true calling as a man or a woman it goes beautifully into each other and there is also no competition now what is happening on the planet with this whole gender mess this is the final destruction that will be the final destruction of the planet and if that would happen and go on, the planet would have to destroy humanity one more time. Because in a physical body, you have a gender. And, you know, even if you, in an operation or whatever, you change your gender, it doesn't really change. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I see. Because your biological body cannot be completely changed. And there are very, very clear signs of this that you can see in a physical body. Mm -hmm. So when they do that, it means that they go against their own nature. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, remember again, we talked about reincarnation and like um, you had lives as a man and as a woman because you need to experience both. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you had many times a life as a man and you certainly come first time as a woman, you have problems to be a woman and you have problems also with your body because um, 
it has been a very long time. You have had the experience once, but it's difficult to go into that role and you manifest more male energies and opposite for a woman too. If you've been a woman very long and you're first time a man, you have problems. Uh, what is one thing what is happening now is like, for example, you just had a lot of male lives or female lives and you need to balance the other gender. Mm. So now in the process of ascension, you have to switch the gender to complete your, your, your balance. Mm -hmm. And that is one reason why there is so much confusion and the dark ones, they use it. They use it against us to, to, so that we fall, so that the ascension cannot happen. And we are another few thousand years slaves of those dark ones who have captured the earth. Mm -hmm. So if we focus on allying ourselves to uh, the Mother Earth energy, would this help our ascension? Absolutely. Because oh. we ascend with her. Oh. We are part of her ascension. Mm. Uh. And how can we do that? How can we align? Okay, now see what is happening in the new age. I told you already that the new age is actually corrupt. Now the new age, you know, is like, um, is you start also depending on things a lot. And they give you some information, but never the whole, because you have to find that energy, that divine within yourself. So new age has become a religion. Now religion is when you give your power away to somebody outside of you, you pray to a God and pray become begging. Please, dear God, give me this or give me that. Now, a spiritual person who is connected has the divine within. You don't need to open or close anything. You have the divine within and you connect with it. And this gives you power that you don't need to give your power away. This makes you strong. This gives you answers. This is about when we said about the little affirmation in the morning, spirit, tell me what I need to know. Spirit, guide me. Spirit, protect me. And the moment when you connect with Mother Earth, remember, she's also a spiritual being. So my divine or my life force, my whatever you want to call it, is now connected with the life force or with the divine of Mother Gaia. This is a statement. So your divine energy, life energy that you have is connected with the life energy of Mother Earth. And then that's exactly, for example, Mother Earth give you a sign. Very clear. For example, watch the behavior of birds then you know exactly when the storm is coming. Animals oh. are always telling you what's up. Like for example, right now, I can tell when I look at the leaves that are coming out that we are short before rain again. You can exactly, once you start to observe, you start to see things like that. Mm -hmm. But you can also just state and ask for the connection. Like divine spirit guide me. Mother Nature, tell me what is the right food for me or what I need or help me to protect me or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. This is a conscious connection. You can make Mother Earth to a friend. Like I connect with you, we talk to each other. So when you just calm down, sit in nature, you have like suddenly ideas are coming into your head. Once yeah. you're carousel up here the mind is standing still you suddenly have inspiration ideas and that is coming from mother gaia mm. 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 wow and you know like all what you see in, in spiritual circle new age etc is like it's always people tend to oh i just want to get out of here i just want to get out of here i just want to move on this is not working because we are ascending with the earth. That means we have to transform our physical body also 
and align to a higher frequency. And that's what makes it in a moment difficult, especially the last few days. I had many people said, oh, I'm so tired. And I felt it myself that I really needed to slow down because every time when the energy is moving a little bit, we have to adapt as a whole. So we ascend with the earth. So those who are not connected with the earth and have no connection with this ascension energy, they will probably get sick and not be able to ascend. Mm. Mm. So don't run away. There is no way out. You know, this is the whole uh, thing. Like you have to go and do things. I, I posted a picture a couple of days ago, like what the, the difference between religion and spirituality and the religion, you see a, a girl sitting beside or kneeling beside a plant, dear God, make it, make it grow, make it grow. And then this is the side of spirituality. There was a girl with a towel around her with a watering can, watering the plant. <laughs> so, that's the big difference. You don't bank. You don't ask God to do anything for you. You have God within you and you do with God. Mm. Or mm. with Mother Earth or whatever word you want to use here. Mm. So see how it's very, very difficult that we are connected. And the best is if, um, that you just start to, to think about it. And, and then you will start that you look different at trees, you look different at flowers, you have a different perception. And then like, for example, what we do in the, in the workshop to make the flower essences, we really get into a very, very strong connection with all the flowers. They talk to us. They tell us what medicine they are. Mm -hmm. and this is possible because every life has consciousness. And once you understand, you can connect with all life, with all consciousness, with your consciousness, and you can start to understand it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds good, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's that's what it is really. Mm. Mm. Very good indeed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't know, do we have any other questions? Mm. I think we cover all for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have it all for now. So um I wish you a beautiful weekend and um see you again next week and those who watch the video please like and share and subscribe to our channel and i see you again next week thank you Bye. so much Bye. <laughs>